Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin and this is Foundation First. Today we're going to be talking about the ways in which you can encourage secure attachment in infants in your care in the four different phases of attachment in young children. Phase one, pre-attachment. This is from birth to six weeks old. Number one, responsive care. During these first six weeks of an infant's life, it is important to show responsive care to the infant when they cry, smile, look, etc. It's important to respond to these cues, therefore creating trust and knowledge that this child will be cared for by their primary caregiver, therefore building a sense of security. Next is a comforting touch. It's important to provide a gentle and caring touch to infants during this time. This is through cuddling, holding, skin-to-skin -skin contact, therefore encouraging a bond between the infants and their caregivers. Number three, maintain consistency. Infants rely on routine as their understanding of the world around them and the understanding of time is not the way that we see time as adults. The consistent routine will help them feel secure and therefore know what's coming next, helping their baby predict when their needs will be met. Phase two, attachment in the making, from six weeks to between six to eight months. Once again, established routines. It's important to create established and consistent routines, helping the infant understand what is coming next and help them understand that the needs will be met. Face-to-face -face interaction. At this point, it is important to have face-to-face -face interaction with your child as their recognition of faces and expressions are improving over time and ensuring eye contact to strengthen an emotional bond. Number three, a soothing presence. Be a soothing presence when around your baby and comfort them when needed, therefore giving them a safe space to explore the world around them, therefore they know that they'll be cared for if they hurt themselves or something goes wrong. Phase three, clear-cut attachment. This is between six to eight months and 18 months. Number one, responsive parenting. Respond promptly and consistently to a baby's cues, therefore building a sense of security in the times of need. Number two, encouraging exploration. Supporting the baby's exploration of their environment and then providing a secure base when they feel that they need a safe space to return to. Number three, Develop trust. Reinforce the idea that you as the caregiver are a reliable source of care and comfort. Last but not least, phase four. Formation of reciprocal relationships. 18 months and beyond. Number one, encourage independence. Allow the child to explore independently as now they've created a secure bond with you as the caregiver allowing them to explore the world independently around them with the knowledge that when they need you, they can come back and have a secure place for comfort. Number two, open communication. Foster open communication and actively listen to a child's emotional needs and experiences and respond attentively when hearing the child's thoughts and feelings. This enables the child to feel secure and know that they are being heard and listened to by their caregiver, creating a sense of trust and security as they grow and develop and explore the world around them. This is also significant for those times where a child is driven and encouraged to be a little bit more independent. Number three, consistent support. Maintaining a consistent and supportive presence as the child creates additional relationships outside of the family unit. This is important because as the child creates other relationships beyond the family unit, they are going to hit really good times and then also get into conflict. This is important for their development and having you as guidance and trusting that when they come to you, they will be supported and guided through their conflicts will ensure they then create strong relationships with people outside of that family unit. Some general tips before we head off today that are necessary for each of the phases mentioned. Number one is create a secure environment. This is important to create a secure environment, not in just the relationship with you and your child, but also in the environment around them. They need to be able to feel safe to explore the environment around them. You need to feel safe to have them do that independently and then come to you when they need you. Number two, unconditional love. Ensuring that the child knows that there's unconditional love ensures that they understand that the love is not dependent on their behavior, that the love is consistent, they trust that, and that no matter the behavior, that there will still be love at the end of the day. This is in no way encouraging bad behavior, but knowing that if they do make mistakes, they can come to you to learn and grow and do a little bit better. Be attuned to cues, especially from really young, children aren't able to express themselves fully. 
They then use cues like crying, smiling, laughing, and facial expressions to then be able to communicate certain cues to you that they're not able to express yet. It is important as the caregiver to be in tune with these cues to ensure that they know that their needs will be met and therefore encouraging a safe and secure environment for the child. Remember, every child is unique and each caregiver needs to remember to adapt these strategies for each individual child. Whether you are a teacher with many different children inside the class or whether you are a parent who has more than one child. It's important to remember that each child is an individual and what you do for one may not work exactly for the other. Follow these suggestions as a guideline and always remember to create a safe and secure environment for the child. But also remember that this doesn't mean that you don't need to hold them accountable for bad choices and behavior that needs to be corrected. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to see what's coming next. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Thank <laughs> you.